Hello. Better turn the fan off, haven't I? Oh, God. Right, I have got four pieces left to do on this painting. So I've already just finished one other one, which I'd started last night and then I just finished it a minute ago. I'm always scared with these cutters that I'm going to overly cut. Oh, now I'm cutting into the flipping. Um, uh. Uh. Well, what day were we on yesterday? Friday. Did anything happen Friday? Now I filmed and it probably was all in that. Oh, good golly. Well, we had brilliant sun, then it went darkish and now we've got brilliant sun again. I wish I'd make up his mind. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? Right. You know what I'm going to do, don't you? You know what I'm going to do. Oh, for God's sakes. Even I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, peel that off first. And I'll stick that to my tripod. can go in the bin it's not as if I haven't got enough of the, the stuff <clears throat> I don't know if you could see that anyway right, let's bring it down a bit oh dear I think I'm gonna have to go out to get it all in I'm gonna do this bit as well right Right, there we go. <clears throat> yep, we are doing a massive bit. We are doing a massive bit. So I'm going to start off at the bottom. So I'm going to cover that up a bit. But we are going to do all of this, actually. So I'm going to start on the white, as I always do. Now, the white's a bit too much, isn't it? That one I could probably do off cam, actually. Oh dear. Okay. Okie dokie. Right. What shall we do? Oh, let's do the twos. Oh God, here we go. Yawning again. Got two of my trays. One for the darks and one for the lights. Uh, yeah. Oh, I slept so well. I didn't hear my alarm this morning. I don't know what time it is. 1.41. Yeah, I might be doing two videos today, so the other one will probably um get the the whatnots. The um Diamond Art Club drop. Don't hold out much hope for it though. Been very disappointed as of late. For me there's nothing I like. Which I'm actually quite thankful for. But at the same point, it's all looking a bit samey, samey. There's nothing new, you know. Bright colours, they're all dark colours. You know. It's just some really bright ones, you know, and abstracts and things like that. But no. We have to have those big-headed girls, don't we? Oh, I can't handle those. But, well, some people do, so... For them, that's good. Oh, 
keep yawning. Oh, mind you, the cat was on a one. He jumps up on my side, up, up to the side of my bed. I've got a calyx unit, you know, on its side. So I've got the, um, um, so say that's my bed. And uh, no, say that's my bed. And this is the calyx and these are the holes this way. I have it that way. I don't have it that way. I have it that way. So I've got a long bit next to my bed because I have my fan on that end and the everything. But anyway, um, yeah. And the cat has decided to jump up on this part of the calyx. So everything on it, she was doing, she was trying to get my attention. I'm sure of it. I don't quite know why though, but she was um, doing that bit. And I watched her do it. She looked at me. Then she looked down at her paw, she looked at me again, and then she went tap, and things went flying. And she did that several times. And I just thought, it's too late to go playsies. And if you're trying to get my attention, well, that is a fun way of doing it. But that ain't gonna work, because I'm in my bed, I'm absolutely knackered. I'm so achy and I'm very achy now. I mean, I didn't want to get up this morning, but the cat basically made me get up and it was about 10 o'clock. So she probably had quite a lot of crossed paws. So um, I had to get up, but no, she didn't want to go outside to go to the loo. No, she wanted her food first and then she went outside. Bless her. Yeah, I think now we're getting the hot weather, I'm going to have to um, comb her more and get the, um, you know, to get down to her summer coat. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, I'm so nearly finished this. But my second um, painting of the day won't be this one. It's going to be... Dum, dum, dum. I'm not telling you. You'll have to wait and see. It might be a kitchen up. Or it might be a painting. I think it's going to be a kitting up, actually. It's not a big kitting up, though. Well, after the last one, that ended out to be quite a lot. But we will see. Oh, dearie, dear. Oh, I do apologise, everybody. Oh God, oh God, be careful. Don't want to lean on that, do I? This is where perhaps I should have done this first. Ah. Here we go. Oh, close, 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 close. You turned this into the black. Yes. I think I probably will do the white one next, actually, just to get it out of the way, because I'm just going to end up putting my elbows on it. Yes. How many is it? Is it four or five? It's four. Oh, and now it's down to three. Ooh, well done. Yes, it's, um, I'm glad I'm inside, but it's still quite warm. My washing dried pretty quick yesterday. Which I'm thankful for. So 
that's something i've got another load of washing to put on at some point but it's just my woolens and to be fair i don't think i'm going to need them for a little while so they can be done tomorrow or monday oh yeah i've got to work out on my list what have i got happening monday i think monday have i got the doctor's phone call i'm not sure right well oh i was bad yesterday i went out to get some you know girly products because i didn't have any or what few I had I'd used and it was like oh bloody hell that's the thing I freaking haven't missed the past six seven months Ugh, but at any rate so I had to go out how many cars that park across the bloody um um dropped curbs and it's so frustrating and you just can't, you know, you cross the road and you, then you've got to go completely round a different way, which takes you a little bit longer. And if I had enough charge, I wouldn't have, that wouldn't have bothered me so much. I would have just gone reversed back. But because my charge just kept fluctuating as if it was going into the red every now and then, I thought, hmm, I do get have enough to get home. But if I'm loaded up with shopping... Then, of course, the engine, you know, the, the thing we jig has to work harder. And so, um, and so the charge goes quicker. So I was a bit concerned that I wasn't going to make it home. Or have enough to make it home. If I had to go all round, you know, the longer way. And I'm still met with the same flipping problem. Because on that way, if I go that side, I can't cross over to the side that I usually do so I have to travel along the road to get to the top curb otherwise I have to go all the way up the road on the pavement the other side because that's where you are and um and then uh, cross another dropped curb to get to the dropped curb that you want kind of thing and it's like oh, I couldn't be bloody bothered so I went now I drove up the bloody road no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Tell a lie. Tell a lie. By the time I came, that was going down there, wasn't it? Yeah, going down. I was okay. A uh, lady came out of her house. She was about to move her car, which was another completely different car. And um, I think, well, she was going to go and get something uh, from Tesco's herself, I think. Yeah, I think that's what she was doing. Anyway, she um, and she helped me. I got off my scooter and she helped get the scooter down off the, off the curb onto the road so I could cross and meet up with the other dropped curb that was going which was nice of her and then on the way back i saw the car still parked there and went oh for god's sakes and just at that moment the car drove off so i thought mm, that was lucky they bloody went quick didn't they because i would have um i keep wondering whether it was actually that girl that came out and helped me <laughs> She said her mate's car was the other one. So it was like, oh, I see. You've got friends there. That's what it is. And yeah. And it drove off. So I could get up the curb. So I didn't have to drive on the flipping up the road to meet up with the dropped curb. Bloody pain, though. It really is a pain. It's like people, you know, I know you get a bit selfish and a bit, you know, only think about what you're doing and where you're going to park but please please try and think of other people not all of us drive a car not all of us can actually walk up and down a curb you know some people are in wheelchairs some people are in motorized wheelchairs some people are in scooters some people have strollers which make it a little bit difficult because i have seen somebody with one of those rollator things um stroller rollator things um hit the curb and go flying 
you know. And, you know, it can trip on the rollator when it hits. So you just sort of think, come on, people. Think of other people, you're selfish little baskets. Excuse me, French, but I could be a flipping, um, what's it called? A um, dropped curb of vigilante. Park on a drop curb and I'm blowing your wheels off. What did you think I was going to do? <laughs> Only repeat offenders get their heads blown off. No, get their legs blown off. So then they can realise what it's like. Yes. Ah, but well. Oh, where's that gone there? This is a particularly slidey bit. Oh, God, now my boobs are dropping on that bit. Mm. <sighs> mm. Brown hair. I think this is the last bit to the brown hair, actually. This little strip. Am I in view? Can't tell because my camera is sort of, um, my phone is, um, the gripper thing is over the, um, over the front part of it. Oh, I wonder, have I got a mirror thing on this thing? Settings. I wonder if I can see it that way. Let's see. Um, what would it be under? General. Would it be under camera? I would have to set it up on this thing first. Oh, poo. Camera. Record video. Record slow mo. Formats. High efficiency, most compatible. Preserve settings, record stereo sounds, scan QR codes, show detected text, grid level, mirror front camera. So I'm going to have to do it on this one. So I'm going to try and do it for the next one. So, mirror front camera. I don't know, is it mirror I want? Let's just try, get out of that and we'll go to... Would it be the camera or would it be the photos? Nope, it's not that one. F camera. Um. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Hmm. Well, I don't think we'll have that one. What's going on with that one? Thank you very much. God, that was scary. That was bloody scary. I'll leave it on that one. I think it says mirror front camera. Oh, well. Right. Where are we on here now? We're only on 19 minutes. Got about another hour to go. Yeah, so yesterday I have ordered my meals. Oh, I better mark that off on my... Ooh, Jim, Jim, my flip. Um, order Viva Meal. So that one's done, so I can find a bit of kitchen roll. Right, there we go. 
Monday the 24th, that's the doctors. I've got to do the forms, so I will do that ASAP. Right. Now go figure, right? I used the whiteboard marker. That's what I use on my whiteboard, obviously. And I used this piece of kitchen roll. Now tell me, is this magic? There is no red on this kitchen roll. How did that work? How does that work? I don't get it. It's a magic pen. Easily wipes off with a dry cloth. <sighs> yep. Oh, have I got them all? All right. Yep. I don't get it. It's magic. Oh, God, I'm going to have to have the fan on, folks. You're going to be in a wind tunnel again, I'm afraid, just for a bit. Now, maybe if I keep it there, I'll keep it in one place and see if that makes any difference. It's not going over. No. No, right, we'll try that. But I've got to have, have it on, I'm afraid. It's just, it's just too much otherwise. I'll pass out and then I'd have to spend the next whatever picking up all my bloody hair off the flipping canvas which has been stuck all right let's do peas I'll have a pea please Bob so that's blockbuster anyone in the England England knows all right oh dear that is better I'm starting to feel a little bit better for that Fan on. Wakes me up as well. Otherwise I go very sleepy. Because I have to have the window shut. If the window was open, I'd well, I don't think there's a slight breeze out there at all. It's probably a warm one. But well. At least I don't have to go out today. Oh, I've got to work out my bills. Because Tuesday is pip day. save 250 for the rent oh for goodness sakes oh she makes me laugh I'll let somebody else answer that doing it one at a time somebody please tell me why I do like the click 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 mind but I just hate it when your Marty Placer does that silly little one where it lays a lot of them the drills but one in the middle just doesn't get laid And you spend ages trying to put it down. And all it does is pick up another one. Oh, that. Sorry. I'm doing all the single ones. That's why I'm doing all the... Oh, I love that click. That's a nice sounding click. Oh, no, wrong, wrong. Suddenly thought I was doing the floppy disks. Takes me back a few years. B 
BBC Micros. That's <laughs> what we had in the last year at school. Yeah. We thought they were the bee's knees. It had was it basic? I think that was the language that we had to we had to um what not doing it. I was going to I did um I, when I went to college I do like four things and I did English lit, English Lang, because I like those, and I did drama and I did computer sciences. Talk about random. But I liked it. I was in a play as well. Ragged Trousered Philanthropist. I played Reverend Belcher. And I had to um, choke at one point while saying, and personally, I'm on the side of the angels. <laughs> And then apparently I laughed so much that I had leant back. But the chair that I was leaning back on was a pretty old one. It belonged to one of our tutors. And um, I fell backwards and off, and off the chair and got a laugh from the, the crowd. And it was like, well, that wasn't in the script, but it stayed in the script. I tried not to um, do it again. And I managed to save myself a couple of times, but it was like, it was still hysterical because your legs go up your arms go out I nearly hit the person next to me but it was sort of a bit weird and then I was kicked out of college my English tutor said I no long I didn't act I um, neither looked nor acted like an O-level student and I, and I said to her well what what does one look like? Because it was stupid, what she was essay. And she didn't like that. And so she basically got me ousted out. I had a, I had a bit of an, a, a meltdown. I had a bit of a, a... I was basically over stimulated, I think, at, at college. There was just too much going on and it just sort of overdid me. You know, I couldn't, it couldn't deal with it. And, um, and then, yeah, but then my drama tutor, who lived sort of in the next sort of couple of villages on from where I lived, he, um, he basically, he was my drama tutor, he basically, um, got me back in because I was doing the play but the horrible thing was when the play was over I was out again and I was gutted I think it was down to the English teacher she she didn't like me I didn't cause trouble I just questioned her a lot because they'd give us those I think they were called bander sheets at the time you know that that um that horrible paper that was sort of shiny on one side and you printed on it and then on the other side if you dared lick it it tasted absolutely foul and um and she'd hand these out at the um i think it was the pre bit before like photocopying it was sort of the um the horrible photocopying paper and um She'd hand these out at the beginning of the lesson. Basically, she was a lazy ass teacher at the beginning of the lesson, and we had to copy them out into our books. And then, after we copied them out, say the bell went, and we could go on to the next lesson, we were allowed to keep these bloody, um, these, um, pieces of paper. And it was like, what is the point? You've just wasted a whole lesson by getting us to copy this out blindly. You know, we're just, you know, a lot of us, you can copy the words without taking it in. So it doesn't always equate that, you know, you're learning any better, you know, by repeating it, you know, by doing it the once. No, 
if she'd done her job properly, she would have been teaching us and making it interesting for us to retain the information and left us to write notes. But no, she did the easy option, the lazy option, gave us the sheets, told us to copy and let us keep the sheets at the end. So I basically didn't copy during the lesson and I would get on and do with um, other work that I had to do. All related to that that class, like if there was another part that we had to do, like um, it was it's like not homework as such, but it was it was sort of you know a project that we had to do a story on our own, you know, which had to be in at the end of the the week or whatever it was. And so I'd get on with that instead. And she used to come along to me and say, "What are you doing?" And I said. Well, we're allowed to keep the sheets. I've read through the sheets and um, and I'm getting on with other work that needs to be done. And I got, yeah, in front of the whole class, I got roasted out. But the thing was, other people in the class were thinking the same. We were all sort of complaining about it and saying, what's the point? What is the bloody point? Yeah, so, um, hmm. so I felt like I was speaking up for all of us. But yeah, it was very weird, she was. But well, near mind, the fun days when we used to go to for lunch and because there was a pub, nearby we go to the pub for lunch well lunch in quite in, comprised of you either got food with your lunch money or you got a pint and well you know what we all got we all um went to um you know get the pint and the thing the classic thing was was while we we're in the pub we saw a lot of the teachers in there and they were drinking. Yeah, they had, you know, I mean, there was one table I'm walking in and one table there was about three or four tutors who were recognised and everything else. And they were sat around this little round table and there must have been, I don't know how many empty pints in front of the glasses and, and full pints. And they were, I don't know how they were not, you know, completely pissed rolling on the floor but it was so funny and it was like class is over for the day sir no i didn't think so or a lot of us would be there saying cool can we be in your class it's so funny yep i heard from a friend as well it was, it was I couldn't believe it. There was a friend who said, yeah, they're, they're, they, I think they were doing RE or religious education anyway, or, or that kind of thing on the lines. And they had a tutor who was, um, who was a priest or vicar or whatever it was, um, which we all thought was quite weird. Um, I mean, weird for the fact is that we didn't, we never thought they'd had time to do it, but either way, you know, and, um, they um, apparently will be the first in the pub and the last out of the pub. And the classes that that he he did were hysterical, apparently. And I would have, I thought, I don't really do RE. But God, that must have been brilliant. You know, what's he going to do next? In the end, she said that I think he got asked to leave. <laughs> she did air quotes for the asked. <laughs> But, oh, God, you know, you just sort of think, it's no wonder they drink. They've got all of us to bloody contend with, you know. I'll bloody drink too. If I was a teacher like that, of, you know, college college years, kids. Yes. Yeah. 
uh, there was a part in, in um, I was told to knuckle down at one point, so I knuckled down. I did. I went into the um, into this, like the um, there was a small little bit upstairs where the lockers were, and um, and they had some tables there, and you could sort of, you know, it's like a common room of, of a sort, but it. You know, so um, there's lots of people there, and I was just sat down on one of the tables. There was a couple other people, and um, I remember, and I was getting on with some work because I really was trying to make an effort because, you know, I didn't want to be kicked out, and so I um, so I what was it? I, so I sat down. And I was concentrating, concentrating, and this one kid, cocky kid, came in with his minions around him and came up to me flipped me book and all that kind of jazz and was um and calling me swat and all this kind of stuff and thinking he was ever so big and clever but i got really and i don't really i sort of was was there but i wasn't there i remember you know bits of it and i just remember getting up from my desk pushing the chair back, getting up on my desk, walking around, picking this, you know, grabbing this guy by his collars, pushing him, shoving him against the locker so his back hit the locker. And I basically lifted him up a couple of inches or whatever off the ground so his feet were dangling. And um, I said, don't you ever, ever interfere with my work again or words to that effect and stuff. I can't remember it exactly. And then dropped him and then... Um, and then proceeded to go back to my seat and sit down and continue what I was doing. And and it, it apparently they laughed. They laughed, but not at me. They were laughing at him. And he felt ever so stupid. Never did it again. Never did it to anybody else. He used to do it to others as well. But he, um, and I was a girly. And I was shorter than him. <laughs> so funny. You know, hearing it back as to what I did because I don't really remember. I remember bits. I don't quite remember what was said, but people said, you know, I suppose at that moment you could say, you know, it's like that thing on YouTube where you get that bit, you know, that clip that comes in and says, and at this moment he knew he'd fucked up. Because, yes, he did. Mm. Crazy. It's interesting, though, when you're sort of younger and you seem to... You, you're completely oblivious to the dangers, you know. Your little world revolves around you and as far as you're concerned you're in this little protective pocket you know no one can get to you or harm you and sometimes yeah you know for the majority that's that's fine to think that but you still have to be very bloody careful because not everybody out there was um you know i mean some of the situations i got into to be honest, I'm quite surprised that I'm still alive. But, you know, when we're young, we do, we think we're invincible. We can do anything, we don't break. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry if that fan is annoying you, but I can't not. It's um. Hopefully you can still hear me. I've got it directed one way which is not for me as good as when it swings round, but um, it's better than nothing. 
thinking, oh, me keeps thinking, maybe I should get the bowl downstairs from upstairs and put cool, cold water in it and put my feet in it and then I might cool down. But yeah. Oh dear. Saturdays. I used to remember when I was a kid going down to um, Mrs Rush's house. Bless her. You know, sweet old lady whose husband, Mr Rush, obviously, um, he um, used to call me the village songbird because wherever I went I would sing and um, go down on my bike and I'd be singing away and I used to go and visit her especially when her husband died and um, she was sort of a bit lonely and um, and we would sit on a Saturday morning and watch the films you know, that would be on like the black and white ones so we'd watch you know, I didn't think much of them at the time but we'd watch like the Elvis Presley black and whites and the um, Jimmy Stewart, you know, all those sort of ones, Gene Kelly. Cliff Richard was a classic one. We'd arranged, said, there's a Cliff Richard one on, such and such. I said, oh, I'll be there. And she'd, she'd get us, you know, she'd, we'd have, I'd have some squash, she'd have a cup of tea and, um, and the squash used to get in, especially for me. And then, um, and there'd be cookies, home, home cooked cookies, baked, you know, not, you know, biscuits and things, and cake. And it was, it was lovely. We'd sit there, I'd sit on the floor below her, you know, with my back against the sofa. And, um, and we'd sit and watch. And it was lovely. Yeah, it was really sad when she died. I thought, well, at least she's with hubby now. And she's catching up with him. But it was sad. Because you didn't think much to him. Um... Yeah, it was very sad. And it, you know, every time I went past that house, because it would be a little track, little track, and there'd be her house, and right next door would be the, um, the Methodist church. I mean, we're talking about a very rural village. I mean, it's Semley in Dorset. And, um, and it was just beautiful, you know, the village. But it was, it was so sad going past that house and I'd always look and no, no more. Very sad. Have I done all the peas? Better bloody haven't. I think I have. Ah, there's one. Nearly. Have I done them all? Let's see. Lots of those pies. Pies and the ends get me confused. I think I should do them next. And if there are any more peas, then they will have to wait. Right. I'm trying to do all these lighter ones first, really, but I'm going to get these peas out of the way. Oh, look at that. That's because it's on the um, on this bit of double-sided sticky tape. You know, not double-sided sticky, no. Um, release paper. It's on here. And when I did some gluing with the, um, with the diamond dots, stuff and um now it's transferring off onto my hands and it's sticky Ugh. i don't know where the rest of them will go on the other back of them oh okay <laughs> finding really weird shapes underneath my t-shirt and when i go and lift up i find it's a drill it's stuck. Okay. Oh, I'll definitely have a shower tonight, I think. Oh, God. Right. Ends and pies and camps. 
contents and discs and music and laughter and love and romance that's all meaning and dance and that one <sighs> that one and that one right we've got a few they're the browns right so peas can go back right let us do ends Right, let us see. Right. Dear. N. It's because it's quite up there. I can't quite see it very well. I don't know if it was to be right down. Get on there. so weird not doing the um the whites first because usually i would have done the whites first let's do threes Yeah. I'm wondering whether I think I might just do on um, Tuesday I might do a 250 quid coin hunt coin roll hunt because that it's pretty fun now do I do them as 50p's or do I do them as two pounds that's the thing oh I think if I'm doing them two pounds I have to do 260 because it's the um I don't know actually. Hmm. See, I have to order the money in advance using my change giving card, which was a pig to get hold of. You only get one of those if you um, if you have a business, because it basically charges you to um, charge something like one pound. Well, Santander charges you about one pound sixty per one hundred quid. See how many commemoratives we can still get. I have to hunt out my sheets. I've got some coin hunt sheets. And I'll be refilling my books again because I've already take, had to take some out for because when I needed to, um, I didn't have any money and I had to spend some of them. You know, I mean, it's ridiculous. What was it? There was, um, if you watch Christopher Collects, he does coin hunts and he is, you know, he goes through and he says the prices of what each one is worth, you know, either face value or this one's worth, blah, blah, blah. And he did one. Now, what was it? It was 50p between five pounds and eight pounds. I think it was a, a Beatrix Potter, one of those. I mean, the best one to get is Kew Gardens, that very rare. 
think they've all been had and are in collectors. And if you spot somebody on eBay who's got like five of them, don't. Because he won't have five proper ones. There'd be five faked ones. Because they're so rare and hard to get. And now we are quite a number of years since they came out. So it's, you know. They've all been had, not just by us in England, but by, you know, collectors all over the world. But I think I might just do that. Fifty p's or one pound. See if it's one pounds, I can do the, the side, you know, the the, around the edge. Ouch. Because these are just some of the ones I've kept. 2016, if I remember rightly. No, 15. And um, this one. This one was worth more than £2. I think it was worth three or four. Not much more, but still something. But across the edge, you've got... I don't know if you can see that. You've got the writing or whatever. What's it say? It says... Oh, God, it will be. It's Latin. I don't know, it was like Gala, but Maria Vindi Vindico Vindicio. Not to be confused with Vin Vindaloo, which is what I first thought it said. Ah, look, I have the Magna Carta. This one around the edge has, what does it say? It has. Foundation of Liberty, which is about right. So you can do like little coin, you know, edge roll, edge hunts. And the Great Fire of London. And this one has uh, the whole city in... Oh God, in Britain, no. Bloody hell, in flames. In I don't know, it's pretty hard to say. Something in flames. And then, of course, that's just one of them. I've got another one somewhere. That is worth about 15 plus pounds because it is the offside rule. And I've got two of them. Whoop, 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 whoop. Where it went to, though? Oh, it's in the book, that's why. Right, what have I got in the Dunbar Art Fund? Two, three, four pound. That ain't much, is it? Right. There, we've had a little side track. Now let's get back to these ends. And there are a lot of them. God, it's so warm. You can't handle this heat. You can't handle the truth. No. Right. Uh. right, I'm definitely, definitely going upstairs after I've done this and um, working my way through that letter, the informant one and informant two, and, um, and, um, putting that into a word document you know as I'm writing it because people don't know me you know 
because I don't show the underneath and it's the underneath part of me that is the bit that's basically trying to keep me in check so people don't tend to see my um or not see very often my um you know my ADHD symptoms as such and if they do they probably I don't know don't recognize it it's just me it's a bit like when I used to fill in the forms for Nick my son and it would be you know it's just him when you live with him being him all the time then him is the um is what you see is what you get you just think it's him it's not anything yeah it's a little bit odd but it's just it's just him that's like you know a little bit odd but it's just me so I really do think that, you know, getting others to notice it. It's all very well if you're really noticeable that something's wrong, you know, or something's a little bit hard for people. But, you know, we are talking about, you know, nowadays people would notice that kind of thing. But back in, say, when I was younger, in the 70s, it wasn't recognised, you know. You were just classed as a bit as a naughty kid or a kid with behaviour problems or you were a daydreamer. And you just needed a little bit more time. But there was none of this, oh, this is this and this is what we must do about it. No, you basically had to get on with it. So a lot of girls, because the boys were easy to diagnose, or easier because they were sort of you know they'd be all over the place whereas girls mask things a lot more they've sort of you know because they truly want to fit in boys no matter how they act will fit in to a certain extent but girls no, we want to fit in with one band. We don't want to be deemed as special. Because if we're deemed as special, then, you know, nobody wants to play with us. Except for other special kids. But then they don't always want to because they don't see or think that way. I think. But, well. So they really do need to um, not have a one one sort of questionnaire fits all because it doesn't work like that. Oh. Right, have I done all the ends in this section? No, yeah, that one. Oh, my eyesight's going a bit odd now because I'm having to strain my eyes to look further. Are we on now nearly an hour do you know what i think i'm going to call it because i'm really hot i'm concerned that you won't be able to hear very well because of the fan and i need to have that fan facing me so i'm going to the second it goes on to an hour so we've got 59, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 40, oh, 43, 44. I'm going a bit slow. Right, so on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I will see you in the next one. And I think it's going to be a kitting down. No, a kitting up. 
after kitting down. I can't do kitting down until this one's finished. Right, so on that note, please, if you would, mind like, commenting, subscribing and sharing. And yes, I'm now going to go upstairs to where my AC can be switched on if I can find the flipping remote control because that is one thing that the cat decided to swipe off the table of the Calyx unit. Vanessa, and um, and yes, and I will go and look up things to do with how to improve my YouTube channel as well. Right, so have a good rest of the Saturday and have a nice Sunday too. Hopefully you'll be all able to get a bit of a lie in and I hope it isn't too hot for you all. Okay then, see you soon. Love you all. Bye.